Happy Valentine's Day! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's so exciting. Yesterday also was a big day, apparently, for Democrats. Mm -hmm. It could signal that voters' heads are leading up to 2024 in a, in a little bit of a different way than people were assuming was happening. Democrat Tom Scuzzi's flip... Swazi. Swazi, my bad. Yeah. Flipped the district held by disgraced ex-Congressman George Santos after his Republican rival spent her campaign painting him as a member of the radical left. Here's what he said in his victory speech. Take a look. Despite all the lies about Tom Swazi and the squad, <laughs> about Tom Swazi being the godfather of the migrant crisis, yeah. we won. Yeah. It's time to focus on how to solve the problems. Yeah. It's time to get to work on immigration. Let's send a message to our friends running the Congress these days. Stop running around for Trump and start running the country. So, I mean, is he echoing what maybe people are starting to, <laughs> starting to feel? I think he's, he was very smart mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. he did this because he leaned into the immigration issue, am I right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Republicans use that as their, you know, their thing. Cudgel. The, their, yeah. their, the cudgel, yes. They're, they're, the left is soft on immigration. And he said, no, we're not. I'm aggressive on immigration, and I'm pro-choice, which the pro-choice people are much stronger than the immigration people in a certain way. It was in this, in this particular instance, I think. So the women came out. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong about no, that? No, he ran a really yeah. smart race. Yeah. Um, he kind of set out a playbook for centrist Democrats to win in swing districts which is don't ignore the issues of voters. If a lot of voters, left, right, and center, say, hey, we care about the border issue, we may have different solutions, he ran on that, he leaned into it. Mm -hmm. But Republicans also made it super easy for him. Literally, this house... He, by the way, the, the Republican deserved to lose because of what this House Republican conference is doing. Juxtapose, like, just last week, they blocked their own border security bill. Right. He articulated that to voters. They impeached Secretary Mayorkas. That is dead on arrival in the Senate, yet it will waste time because the Senate has to take it up, even though there are no votes to impeach him in the Senate. They're blocking aid to Ukraine right now, which the majority of actual living, breathing Republicans support. So, of course, they're not going to be picking up seats. In this this is going to continue to happen. Republicans will lose winnable races because they're fealty to Donald Trump. He has dest nearly destroyed the party and hasn't really won anything since 2016, and it's remarkable that we're still lining up behind him. No, Why I, are I, they doing it, then? I, I, it's, well, it makes no sense. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It feels sort of cultish. I think what, what is going to be, if, God forbid, the Antichrist gets reelected. <laughs> And I'm meaning the... She means that in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I mean the, you know, former twice impeached. How many counts? 91, 91 counts. 91 uh, and And civilly liable for uh, sexual assault. If he gets put into the White House, um, now I think there's a real shot that the Democrats have the House and the Senate mm. if they run these kinds of races. And so that will at least put a check on the Antichrist, right? So, and I also think, if you think about it now, they only have about a one-vote margin if anybody kind of disappears. And so now legislation may be... Well, when I say disappear, somebody doesn't show up for vote. So perhaps now maybe we can get that border, um, that immigration bill passed. Maybe we can get some work done in the final months of, of this part of Biden's administration. I think this was a really big win, and it was a roadmap to other Democrats. Yeah. Do this. Do this is like the playbook. This. Yeah. yeah, but if you told me someone uh, won on the economy and immigration, you assume the Republican Two vote won. Margin. Sorry. Like, the fact that th they were able to flip this seat on those issues, leaning into them, mm -hmm. but it does, I also think you need to recognize that voters can see what's going on here, because mm -hmm. we're watching in the House right now as they're literally blocking their own mm -hmm. immigration bill. When <laughs> voters said, we're voting on immigration, yeah. And they're wasting time with this impeachment, which I think all these ceremonial congressional things need to be out the door. Mm -hmm. Because the time they've spent on this and now forcing Senate's hand today is a waste of time on something that clearly matters to everyone. How about taxpayer yeah. dollars? Well, I don't want to pay that's that's the my, time, my all of it. Is, yeah, because yeah. I don't understand. Y'all say, you know, pe the economy's bad, things mm -hmm. are bad, people take care of the people, and you're not taking care of the people. You're wasting time. You've spent five years looking for something that wasn't there. Now you're trying... I, I don't know how much money you guys have spent. I 
know how much taxpayer dollars I'm sick of paying you yeah. sitting there doing nothing. I don't get it. Who are you I don't understand it. Referring well, to? I'm, I'm really? specifically referring to all those folks who are sitting in Washington who are doing absolutely uh, nothing to move the country forward, to fix the issues that they say are there. But they're busy doing hearings and well, things on. And who are they, they have hearing? No, they have no votes in the Senate. They knew that going into yeah. this. Yet while they're simultaneously <laughs> saying yeah. no to a bill their own person wrote. But yeah. this thing with Mallorca is, is really a big distraction. Come on. Yeah. It's all a distraction. Where are the high crimes and misdemeanors there, there, that this guy committed? There, there are, are none. So it's just there to make none. the impeachment of Trump get mitigated well, a little bit, and right? And you could even yes. argue that uh -huh. maybe you don't think Secretary Mayorga did enough on the border. But then the last thing you want to do is remove, eliminate someone from that position only to go to his deputy it's not like they get to install who they want in right. that role and by the way it requires a two-thirds majority vote in the senate meaning democrats would have to it vote for it barely passed never the house they pulled someone out of cancer it's, treatment and out of the hospital yeah. to yeah. vote on a bill when it's that close we can all say and agree it's a waste of well, time and the thing is this is unconstitutional i mean the constitution was never meant when they have high crimes and misdemeanors right. as the bar that is a very very high bar it doesn't mean you're bar. not doing it's a not job even right. it means doubt. you committed a crime yeah. he did not no, I agree. It's bad for democracy people, to lower the American bar. The American people can see through such but a nonsensical move. partisanship. I would we note. Constitutional oh, partisanship. Sorry, go, ahead. go ahead, baby. Go I was ahead. just going to say, I would note that Elise Stefanik, the House Republican Conference Chair, Ooh. is a New York member of Congress. She endorsed George Santos. We know how that went. <laughs> she endorsed in this race and that Republican law. And, and this girl, this woman who was running against, um, against Swazi, yeah. uh, was not, she didn't want the endorsement from Trump. And he said that's why she lost. Every, but when he does endorse people, they, they lose, lose, too. too. Listen, Everyone loses She them. might have yeah. lost because her campaign was bad. Yeah. And he you know, people, a good campaign. People have to, have to take responsibility. If and you run a good. sucky campaign, you're going to lose. Mm. If you're not in... If you don't know what your people want you to do and you're not paying attention, you're going to lose. People are saying, hear us. We're, here are the things we want you to pay attention. Left, right, and center doesn't matter. If you're not listening to the people, you got a problem. Yeah, but they're so, not going to elect they're you. But they're listening to people on Fox that, or as opposed to but not all of them. Not all of them. So that's the division. division. But they're out they of step with most something. Republican voters. That's, 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 that's the point I'm getting but to. I do is wonder what, why what, did they choose her? Because she's an Ethiopian. <laughs> Former Israeli soldier with very limited political who experience. Who was a Democrat? She, she who had, was a Democrat? Well, this at one was point. a vote so, for experience. Swazi had a lot of experience. Yes. And what people said this time is a lot's going on in this world. We need a grown up. But in why the would the Republican Party put that person? I actually up? thought was she was qualified. Politics. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I, I don't know if I know that. I don't know yeah. that I know enough yeah. about her to speak yeah. to it. Yeah. He ran a good race. That's what. Yeah, it comes he, ran, he really to. did. He ran a good race. But you, did I just say a good race? <laughs> yes. Good waste. I'm going to teeth her loose again. <laughs>